Eric, on Tuesday night you were there, I was there, and years from now, thousands of people will say they were there. Bellarmine beat Jacksonville to win the A-Sun Conference Tournament, only the second year of Division I play. But today the story has twisted to they can't go to the NCAA Tournament. Isn't that awful? Tell us why that's happening, and you think it's awful. Well, you knew it would go there because it, it went there a couple years ago when Mary Mack won the Northeast Conference and wasn't even eligible to go to the conference tournament for the same reason. The NCAA says if you go to Division II to Division I, you have to wait for four years before you can compete in NCAA championships. It's a period for schools to acclimate to Division I and to show that they can stick it out. It used to only be two years that you had to wait, but a lot of schools were making the jump. They weren't financially ready and they were having to fall back or cut sports. This was done to protect universities and it may be changing. There's a meeting in April where they'll vote to run it back to two years, but that's too late to help Bellarmine now. Yeah, and what we both remember is a few years ago during the summer when Bellarmine had the big announcement that they were going Division I, that they knew the rule going in. They didn't complain then. I don't think they're complaining now because of all those reasons you mentioned. There were too many schools doing it that weren't ready to do it. And what they have to do is just they'll, they'll get into another tournament, go into that tournament and win it. They already have the great moment that they had at Freedom Hall. Celebrate that and don't turn the story into something that they're not being able to do instead of remembering what they have done. We've got more here on Bellarmine, UK, UofL, IU moving forward. Just stay at WDRB and WDRB.com.